massive technology that allowed you to park as neatly as Paul Swift, but without waking the whole neighbourhood. So the Cougar has identified the space, it has told Tim that it is big enough, and Tim selects reverse. Let's see those hands, ladies and gentlemen. Now he selects forward gear as asked by the car. And it asks for reverse again. And without touching the pedals or the steering wheel, Tim is parked. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is the sort of technology that is already available in your new Fords and is coming online. Genuinely, he is not driving the car, it is driving it itself. And most impressively, the Cougar will park itself in its own length and 20%. So that is a foot on either end. Now even you're going to struggle to do that. Can I have a go? Yeah, of course. I mean, of course. We've got park assist here on the Cougar. You can... I'd like to do it the ST though. Who'd like to see that? Yeah, well that's great, but your focus doesn't have park assist. Well, it kind of does. It's got handbrake. It's got a handbrake. Should we have a go at that? Alright, let's have a go at that. Okay, I'll see you out, Tim. Excellent. So we'll move the Cougar and we will leave the parking space for Mr. Paul Smarty Pants Swift and his own parking assist. Now I need to be somewhere safe for this. I'd prefer to be stood behind the Cougar, but this would do nicely. Okay, so are we ready to see Paul Park at speed? Very nice. Right, we need to make a bit of a challenge. So let's have a parking space then, because frankly, probably most of us could have parked in that amount of room. You can't hear, you have to really shout. Pull up to the bumper, baby, says the man with a very good knowledge of 80s music. Right, that'll do very nicely. Not quite enough room to move through, that's just what we need. Okay, so now the challenge is set. Yeah, careful, eh? You've got the reversing camera. Got the reversing chip fitted as well in Paul's brain. So now we've got a genuine parking space. Let's see what he can do. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! How was that then? Did he leave more room or less? 